Okay, in this example, a van accelerates uniformly from 30 meters per second to 30 meters per second in six seconds. In part A, we need to calculate the acceleration of the van. At the start of each question involving the SUVA equations, it's helpful to write down the values we know for S, U, V, A, and T. In the question, we're told a van accelerates from 30 meters per second. That tells us the initial velocity is 30 meters per second. The final velocity is also given as 30 meters per second. And we're told this change in velocity takes six seconds. We're calculating the acceleration, so we'll pop a question mark in there. And as we don't want the displacement, we'll just put a cross next to that. Next up, we have to consider which is the most appropriate SUVAT equation. So here are our SUVAT equations. We're going to look through each of these. We're looking for one that has U, V, T, and the quantity we're trying to find, which is A. The one we're looking for is V equals U plus AT. Now in the exam, there are no marks for writing down the formula without substituting in values. But for the help of clarity here, I'm just going to write it down at the top, V equals U plus AT. What you do get marks for, however, is writing down the formula with the numbers substituted in. So V is 30, U is 13, and t is 6, so we'll put plus 6a. As there are marks for accurately using this formula in the exam, it's good practice to substitute the numbers into the formula before you rearrange. If you rearrange first and then make a mistake, it's more difficult to get the marks. To get from this line to the answer, it's up to you how many lines of working out you do. The more confident you are doing things in your head, the fewer steps you might make. Here, I'm going to subtract 13 from both sides, that gives me 17 equals 6a. And then I'm going to divide through by 6. So into my calculator, I'm going to put 17 divided by 6, which gives me 2.83 to three significant figures. In part B, I need to find the distance traveled by the van in the first four seconds. Although this is the same van that is accelerating, because some of the values have changed, we had six seconds in the first one and four seconds in the second one, we have to be careful when we write down our SUVAT values. The initial velocity stays the same, that's still 13 meters per second. But the final velocity last time was after six seconds. This time we're using four seconds, so that value is no longer valid for V. We can add in the time though, that's four seconds. And because the acceleration is constant throughout the journey, we can use the value we calculated in part A, which is 2.83 meters per second squared. However, the value we actually use in the calculation will be the exact value from this part here. So at this point, we're going to store this value in our calculator as a letter. To do that, I press the right arrow, and then I press alpha, and then I can pick any letter that I want. I'm going to choose A. Then I press EXE. And then I can access that value in my calculator by pressing alpha and A at any point in the future. In this question, we're calculating the distance. Remember that S in the formula stands for displacement. However, because the particle does not change direction, the value of the distance and displacement will be equivalent to each other. So we can find S here, the displacement, and we will then have found the distance. In this particular question, we're not interested in finding V, so we put a cross next to that. So we want to find S, and we've got U, A, and T. Looking at the formulae, we want to use S equals U, T plus half A, T squared. Once again, I'll write down the formula. There's no marks for this, but it may help us when we're substituting in. S we don't know, so we'll leave that as S. U is 13, so we get 13 times T, which is four, plus a half A, T squared, which is a half times 2.83, times four squared. Let's put that into our calculator. We've got 13 times four plus one half times A, which we stored in the calculator as A. So to access that, we go alpha and then A, and then T squared, so four squared, 
which gives us 74.7 to three significant figures. Okay, here's a problem for you to try for yourself then. Pause the video and then come back and check your solutions against mine. Welcome back, here's my solution. When you're checking your answer for this one, please also do check the way you've communicated your answer. It's not just about getting the right value at the end. Make sure you've written down the SUVAT values, substituted in before rearranging, and then got the correct answer. If you've managed all that, well done, move on to the next example. Otherwise, I'll go through my solution now. Okay, we have a scooter which decelerates uniformly from 28 meters per second to 17 meters per second, covering a distance of 240 meters. And in part A, we need to calculate the magnitude of the deceleration. Let's start by writing down our values for SUVAT. We have an initial velocity of 28 meters per second and a final velocity of 17 meters per second. It covers a distance of 240 meters. Since it doesn't change direction, we have a displacement of 240 meters. We're trying to find the deceleration. That means we'll look for A and we're not interested in T. So let's look for a SUVAT equation that contains S, U, V and A. In this case, we want V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. So V squared is 17 squared equals U squared, which is 28 squared, plus 2 times A times S, which is 240. We'll rearrange by subtracting 28 squared from both sides. So on this side, we'll get 17 squared minus 28 squared. That gives us negative 495. And then we've got 2 times 240, which is 480. All we have to do now is divide through by 480. And that gives us negative 1.03 if we round to three significant figures. However, recall that the question is asking us for the magnitude of the deceleration. So the magnitude of the deceleration takes the absolute value of this, which is just 1.03 meters per second squared. And that's to three sig fig. So when we're finding the magnitude of a quantity, we should never have a negative value for our answer. In part B, the scooter continues to decelerate uniformly. Calculate the velocity of the scooter after 21 seconds. Let's write down some SUVAT values again. Initial velocity is still 28 meters per second. Acceleration is constant, so we know that it's negative 1.03 from before. So we'll store this value on our calculator. As I've finished with the last problem, I'll overwrite the value of A as minus 1.03125. And the journey takes 21 seconds. We're interested in finding the velocity and we're not interested in the displacement. So we've got U, V, A, and T. That tells us to use V equals U plus A, T. So we have V equals U, which is 28. A is negative, so we get minus 1.03 times T, which is 21. Remember to use the exact value. So we have 28. We have to be really careful here because the value we've got of A is already stored as negative. So what we actually want is plus A times 21 and that gives us 6.34 if we round to three significant figures.